How y'all doing? I always take those steps very carefully. I've seen too many accidents before. Um, I'll start with football. And uh, PHS, come on up. No, hold on. Just wait a second. Um, while his teammates built up the statistics, our football most valuable player was the anchor of the area's top defense, a defense that goes down as one of the best to ever play in this area. He was relentless on the line all season long, getting a constant push up the middle that disrupted the opposing offenses constantly. He, he totaled 82 tackles and eight sacks while going from great to unblockable during the Tigers' magical state title run. He will play football at Florida Atlantic University. The football most valuable player is Jerome McLean. All right, our, our football offensive player of the year was the leader of the area's most potent offense. It's hard to imagine Catholic's offense moving the same without the dual threat junior who passed for an area best 2,945 yards and 27 touchdowns. He also ran for 200 yards and six touchdowns. With him running the show, the Crusaders scored at least 30 points in eight of its 13 games and scored 40-plus points in two of its three playoff games. Best of all, he's back next season. The football offensive player of the year is quarterback Sean White. All right, our, foot, our football defensive player of the year was a leading tackler on a Pensacola High defense that allowed just 6.3 points a game in 2009. A quiet leader, he flanked vocal middle linebacker Alexander Black to create the area's best one-two linebacking punch. He capped his career in dream fashion, racking up 12 tackles and two for loss in the Tigers' 28-7 win over Miami Balloon Jesuit in the Class 3A title game. In the fall, he will play football at Northland Community College in Minnesota. Uh, our football defensive player of the year is Kemrick Williams. After two close calls and a long string of successful seasons, our football coach of the year led Pensacola High to a breakthrough season in 2009, winning the school's, most, or school's first state title in 50 years. The Tigers won a school record 14 games and, most importantly, won the Class 3A state championship against Belen Jesuit. It was the Tigers' first championship game appearance since the playoff format began in 1963. The football coach of the year is Mike Bennett. All right, I'm going to move on to uh, winter sports. The, the boys' soccer player of the year led Gulf Breeze in scoring with 15 goals and 13 assists. The senior had nine multiple-point games, seven game-winning goals, and three game-winning assists. His offensive performance helped keep the strong Gulf Breeze soccer program in the playoffs for another year, leading the, the Dolphins to the Region 1-4A championship game. He will play soccer next year at the Merchant Marines Academy. The boys' soccer player of the year is Jack Begley. The girls soccer player of the year had 19 goals and 15 assists this season, helping to lead Gulf Breeze to the Region 1-4A championship game, just like the guys. The highlight of her season was her first career four-goal game in the region quarterfinals against Wakola. She'll play next year at the University of Florida and is the only area girls soccer player to sign with an SEC school. The girls soccer player of the year is Maggie Rogers. And if anybody wants me to slide into the photo with them, just see, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> Despite having to replace 12 seniors at the start of the season, the girls' soccer coach of the year took her young squad all the way to the Class 3A Final Four. It was the first trip to state for the team in school history, a trip earned thanks to the program's biggest win in school history, beating Jacksonville Bowls and penalty kicks in the regional final. In her third year at Catholic, she also led the team to its seventh consecutive district championship. The girls' soccer coach of the year is Brett Bancaster. In his second year as head coach, the boys' soccer coach of the year led Tate to a history-making season. Tate won its first district title and regional quarterfinal this year, finishing the season at 15-3-3. Three three. 
The team also recorded 10 shutout victories, helping to bring its soccer program into prominence for the first time. The Boys Soccer Coach of the Year is Jimmy McHenry. The Pensacola High girls basketball team was supposed to rebuild this year, but instead they came up about 30 seconds short of a state title. Our girls basketball player of the year helped lead PHS to its fourth Final Four in five years, averaging a team-high 15 points and 6.2 rebounds a game. Her best performance came when the Tigers needed it most, scoring 18 points and grabbing 13 rebounds in the overtime loss to Miami Norland in the 4A championship. The senior also scored the winning basket in the Region 1-4A title game that sent the Tigers to the state Final Four. She will play basketball at Santa Fe Community College in Gainesville in the fall. The girls basketball player of the year is Jasmine Richardson. The boys basketball player of the year led Milton in scoring, averaging 17.1 points a game, helping the team to a turnaround 19 and 5 season that ended with the finals. He followed in the footprints of his older brother Adam, who was the News Journal's player of the year in 2007. He will be playing baseball next year at Auburn University. The Boys Basketball Player of the Year is Brandon Allen. Low clearance. The girls' basketball coach of the year is also the area's most decorated, and this year was no exception. She led PHS to the 4A championship game and the team's fourth Final Four in five years. In 17 years, she won eight district titles, took 16 to Final Fours, and three to state title games. She's won 336 games with active area coaches. The girls' basketball coach of the year is PHS's Allison Davis. And, and Allison's mom, Diane McMillan, is here to accept her award. Wrestler of the Year set a standard for Milton High. The senior finished third in the 130-pound weight class at, at the Class 2A state tournament, producing one of the best finishes by any Pensacola area wrestler in state tournament history. He will wrestle at the Citadel next season. The wrestler, the wrestler of the Year is Ben Willard. His coach, Dwayne Rowley, is uh, here to accept his award. And the last one for the winner, uh, perhaps the biggest restoration project by any prep program, any sport, all year long, um, was in boys basketball. And our coach of the year led Tate from cellar dwellers to its first District 1 5A championship in 11 years. In his first year as coach, he also led the Aggies to their fourth region semifinal appearance in 25 years. Before he took the reins at Tate, the Aggies had a combined two-year record of 10 and 40. This year, the Aggies finished 20 and 9. And when you see this guy, you'll see why these kids probably got whipped into shape. Um, our basketball coach of the year is Clyde Abney. We didn't measure this before we got here, for sure. Um, all right, uh, that's it for winter sports. Uh, in spring sports, we'll bring up assistant sports editor Jason Blakeney.